Hey everybody, uh, in this video, I just wanted to talk about the new tabs that Ionic have introduced in beta 15. So I'm going to have an article out uh, that's a little bit more in depth and is going to cover, uh, I guess, more of the methodology behind the change and how tabs work in general. Uh, but I wanted to film this video just to go through a quick example on screen that shows the differences between the two approaches. And so I've got one of my example applications from my book on screen now. And so I've got the pre beta 15 code here, as well as the new code required for tabs after beta 15. So for the changes that have been introduced, uh, the only thing we actually need to change is the template with the uh, tabs. And it's a reasonably uh, minor change as well. Uh, if you have all your routing already set up for a tabs layout, which might look something like this, uh, you don't need to worry about changing that. And so if we look at the old version of the tabs here, uh, we can see that we have everything surrounded in an ion tabs component, and then we specify each of the tabs that we want. And then each of those tabs have their own router outlet. And so all we need to do to create our tab is we give it a label, uh, which will provide a little title for the tab. And then we say what icon we want to use for the tab, as well as what it should link to. Now to migrate to the new tabs, uh, it's going to look more like this. So we still have everything surrounded in uh, an ion tabs component. And we still also define uh, all of our tabs with ion tab here. And we still have the router outlet in there as well. So uh, it's kind of exactly the same as what we already have here, except we're, uh, we're removing the icon, the label and the href. And instead we uh, just use this tab attribute instead. I'm going to come back to that in just a little bit. Uh, but as well as defining those tabs now, we also have to define a set of tab buttons. And this is kind of the basic idea behind these changes. Uh, it's separating out the, the tabs from the actual uh, interface for the tabs, the buttons. And the point behind this all is that it's going to provide us with a lot more control over how we use these tab buttons. Whereas previously it was very tied into the tabs themselves. It was heavily integrated with what's going on behind the scenes in terms of navigation. Now it's just kind of this generic uh, tab button uh, UI that we can link up to tabs. And so we can continue using it exactly as we were before, just as uh, tabs to control the different, uh, activate the different tab views. But if we wanted to, we could now also use a tab bar and the tab buttons in a different uh, circumstance if we wanted. It doesn't specifically have to be tied to a tab to navigation view. And as well as this, uh, we can also have greater control over how we define our tab buttons. So whereas before we just had to supply the icon and the label, now we can just add whatever we want inside of here. Uh, so it gives us a lot more flexibility uh, instead of just having to have the icon and the text. So I think the the, the code here for the tab buttons is, is reasonably self-evident, but we'll quickly cover this. So we have an ion tab bar component now, which surrounds our tab buttons. And then we can give that a slot of bottom or top, depending on where we want the uh, tab bar to sit. And then we just fill this with our ion tab buttons and we supply that with the href. So whatever we want to happen when we click on that tab. So in this case, we can use it to switch between our different router outlets, uh, but you could also uh, link that to uh, whatever you want. You don't have to use it to switch between these router outlets. And the other important thing we have here is the tab attribute, which I said I'd come back to later. And so we just tie this uh, tab button to this tab by giving them both a tab attribute with the same name. So I've got tab location on this tab button and I've got tab location on this ion tab. And so I've done that for each of the tab buttons here. So I'm just going to delete the old tabs now. And we'll just take a quick look in the browser to make sure everything's working and uh, walk through that a bit. Okay, so I've got the application up now and you can see if I click uh, between these two tabs, they uh, change just fine. Uh, but another thing I wanted to highlight is that because we are taking this approach now where we just, you know, plop whatever we want to uh, do to the tab buttons or what, whatever we want to use to display them, we just drop that inside of the tab button. Uh, we could add anything we want in here. I'm just going to say hello. Uh, this is going to look bad, of course, but uh, you can see now in this camp details, uh, a tab here it says hello camp details so i could put you know whatever i want in here i could probably even shove another icon in there if i wanted to that would look very silly uh, but the 
benefit of this is that we can also just style this directly. This isn't inside of the, the tab, tab shadow DOM or anything like that. So we can just target this directly with CSS and style it however we want. So if I come to the uh, ion tab button here, uh, you can see here, I've got the ion icon and the ion label, and these aren't sitting inside of the shadow root. So that means we can just modify them with CSS. So just as an example, let's say I add a new class here for, uh, let's target ion tab button, and then we'll target the ion icon. Uh, so I could just say uh, display none, uh, that's going to uh, hide that icon. Uh, maybe we don't want to hide it, but maybe we'll just say color, uh, let's make that red, makes the icons red. Uh, I could target, say, just the label if I wanted to. Uh, let's add a new new class for ion tab button uh, ion label. And let's change the font size for that to 50 pixels. And now obviously that text is massive and it looks terrible, uh, but you can see that you know, we can now modify these very easily. Uh, we can supply whatever we want to the tab buttons or you can use them uh, in different circumstances. So it just makes uh, the tab buttons a lot more flexible and we can even more easily use this tabbed interface or these tab buttons with, with different frameworks and different navigation systems. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully that clears up any questions you had around uh, tabs. As I mentioned, I will either have an article out already or it will be coming out soon. Uh, so if you do want uh, a bit more detail on this, uh, you'll find a link to that in the description when it's available. But otherwise, I, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please feel free to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.